Hey everyone, Serial Canine here. Welcome back for more La Milana 2. In the last episode, we did a bit of uh, wandering around, not finding much other than some uh, monster data in Valhalla. Mm -hmm. Tried exploring the blood corridor a bit, but uh, found death at every corner. So, uh, in this episode, we are going to be doing things a little different. We are going to the roots of Yggdrasil, and we are going down to Anwithun, which is still totally not the correct pronunciation of it, but I do not care at this point. What does this guy have to say? Anything? Oh, it's a shop. I don't really care. Down we go. Push the white box. Yeah, we do not have the ability to push stuff yet. Also, this uh, statue is shooting dice at us. It's pretty great. Alright, I dare say it is time to jump down. Whoa. Alpha saw the world of end, the fall of the mighty, its inhabitants scorch away by conflict. So Yggdrasil awakens, saw the red star that grants a wish that is howled at the final gate. There's a... What's this? Ah! The last bastion of resistance against those who seek to control Eglona. Okay, we can, uh, we can teleport here now. That's nice. That's a funky looking fish monster down there. But, uh. Kinda wanna wait around for this platform. So I can check out what that book is up there. Uh, it looks like a fake artifact, but. Oh! Kasugi Research Papers! Whoa! Mm -hmm. What's that app you just picked up? Your dad's research papers? What are those doing in these ruins? Your dad's research papers? What's he doing losing those? Originally, I contracted your dad and grandpa to investigate the ruins. And then you showed up for some reason. Are they possibly already in Eglana? And your dad turning his research papers into an app. That's pretty baller. <laughs> Let's install it and see what we can find out. This is a huge breakthrough. Assumed history of La Milana based on inspection of the ruins. The La Milana ruins, which we discovered, were built inside a huge living being. It was a gigantic living being, thought to have fallen to earth in prehistoric times. Its size is so great that for us, looking upon it is like an ant viewing a human and being unable to comprehend just how large the human is. According to the very few surviving legends, this huge being desired power in order to return to space. The being then bore small living beings from its own body. These new living beings were the people who came to populate the Earth. These beings, called the Great Being, Mother. Possessing innumerable large open spaces inside its body, this mother fostered these races inside itself. The remains of this structure are what we now know as the La Milana Ruins. We've now received a request from Elder Zelpa to reinspect the La Milana Ruins. However, through the past several years of research, my daughter and I have already become aware of the mysteries remaining at the ruins of La Milana. What was that light given off when the mother was sealed off? What is the Zeroth child? What do these murals of upside-down trees seen throughout La Milana mean? Could there be yet another set of ruins similar to La Milana? I need to get my research in order so I can ascertain the truth of this terrifying theory. Interesting, if, uh, if not particularly enlightening, yet. Oh, fantastic. I went and died. Thanks, Eglana. All I ever wanted out of life was to translate dirty games and play around with my phone. How am I supposed to do either of those without skin? To anyone who might stumble across this message, seriously, sit down and write that visual novel of yours. Not gonna be around forever. 
Hi, mate, though. Oh, can you feed my dogs for me, too? Thanks. <laughs> Shenanigans, that's what's up. That's what's always up. Todd. Eglana forms the body of the original child. The Locapala schemed to control Eglana at their whim, but they were opposed to by another race, us. We the Alpha are loyal to the Fairy King Frey. Cool. Adonto Tyrannus. Fake! What, what is this? Thing? The world may never know. Alright, we can't, uh, we can't press that for any reason. What's this? Yes! I found the switch behind the wall! Uh, that way. Hmm. Now what in- oops. Now what indeed, Mr. Guy? Uh, I don't have rolling shurikens. That could be a problem. May not be able to do anything about that. Whoops! Serpent King, Naga. He seals the path to the Virtual Wise Man. The virtual Wise Man and Naga. What's up here? The Guardian Kujato was set upon Anthem by the Lokapala, only to be sealed by an Ankh at the Alpha Cirrus's hands. Okay. Does that have something to do with the prophecy I've been collecting? It's possible. I want to make my way up. But to do that, I need a platform. Thank you, platform. The more powerful of the offer possess the gift of clairvoyance. Their efforts to preserve the prophecy for Eglana test the limits of their defiance against the mother's influence. And I didn't kill it. Sadness. What's in here? This seems like a safe place to make camp. Tomorrow I'll find the treasure for sure. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Climb up from below, I guess. Okay, Taz can be killed in one hit by the knife. Good to know. Uh, I don't think I'm getting across there. Yeah. Agasura. Snake's head. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Snake doors are fake doors. There's a hidden shop here somewhere. Or at the very least, a hidden room. You're not a Valkyrie, are you? Yeah. No, no, no. You're something else. Sara. A beautiful dancer. Okay. The mantra harnessing Alpha hidden relic, the Jed Pillar. It is fated to be swallowed by Kujata, the guardian of Lokapala creation. 
This sounds very important. Uh, we are probably going to want to hang around here and see if we can find that pillar. What is this thing? Huracan Stone Statue. Interesting. Is this uh, another map? Indeed it is! Alright, that is what this area looks like. Good to know. That looks like a mini boss chamber. It looks like bad times. Those who seize the golden key must first attain the power to cling to walls. We have that. Oh! Dang fake doors, man. Yeah, it's such a thing. Alright, so, look for a place where I can cling the walls, I guess, is what we're trying to say here. Let me, once again, mention that I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Alright, there's that. We haven't been down here yet. Boy, I'm sure there's plenty of loose change lying around these ruins. I went on a spree and blew it all in weapons. So much for tasty, life-sustaining food, am I right? Lesson of the story here is make each purchase careful and calculated. Yeah. Oh, look, there's something written on the face. Kukulkan. Oh, yeah, they're climb Cuckoo Khan's forehead. Alright, let's make a jump for it. Huh. Ah. Oh! Okay! That was something. What's this? By the way, there was something your dad told me. He says that archaeologists can't get caught up in common sense. I don't approve of damaging the ruins, but it's good to search for scalable places other than just ladders and stairs. Like, places on walls or statues where you might be able to get a good grip or foothold. That's how you make new discoveries of things that normally wouldn't be found. Hey, I was trying to tell her this stuff. Holy bird gets a worm. <laughs> the Fairy King's mausoleum lies ahead. The resting place of the Alpher King, who foresaw Eglana's future. Well, I think we have found our progress. My name is Frey. I am the King of the Fairies. Who sets foot here in thy land? Do you possess power? If you have power, then I shall lend you mine also. See my sister, Freya, and receive from her a symbol, proving her power. Then you shall receive the power of the fairies. Alright. Uh, I'm assuming that is the fairy queen? Are you going to meet the fairy queen? Construction on the path leading from the mausoleum of the giants to the endless corridor will be finished by the time you get back there. Heck yeah! Let's go! Samaranta, what do you have to say to me? Rubble has finally been removed from the entrance to the Endless Corridor. Now you can go to see a Fairy Queen. There may still be other places you need to reach to properly investigate Eglana. I'll do what I can to make any other areas of the Lama Lana Ruins accessible as soon as possible. Alright, so... You're going to the Endless Corridor. Cool times. Whoa, it's, uh, it's Legendary Small Beauty. Also, wow, you can see the outside from here. Oh, 
Oh, you're human. I suppose that means the rubble was cleared from the mausoleum of the giants. It also means I'll have to find a new place to live before people start flooding in. I am Freya, the Fairy Queen. You have a familiar scent about you. Are you the daughter of the man who released the mother's soul? If you've come to see me, I assume you've also met Freya the Fairy King as well? How is my brother? Yes, I am another of the few remaining six children. Out of necessity of purpose, I work together with the seventh children in planning for the sealing of the Lamalana ruins. So you've made it through my brother's ordeal of the fairies. Please, pass this pendant on to my brother. With that, you shall have the fairies as allies of Eglana. Freya's pendant get! It's a treasure. It's an item type. It's a treasure type of item. Aha! I see a data ROM! Yeah. At least I thought that was a data ROM. But it turned out it was nothing. This is a very pretty place now, though. Why am I doing this? I can teleport. That is Freya's pendant, a true testimony to power. I shall lend you my power. Use it to bring forth the end. I shall grant you the powers of my servants, the heir, the fairy of life. The fairy light can summon fairies. I've made it visible to you. Touch it to bring the fairies to you. Light of the fairies! My apologies for not saying hello earlier. I am Air, a fairy. I've been ordered by Frey to help you. My power is the power of healing. I have the power to heal your injured body. Call me when you've grown exhausted in your journey. See you again! That's handy. Boldly go beyond the watery divide. Okay. No man has gone before. going butt naked, but trying to stay afloat with your clothes on? Well, nobody got the skills for that. Well, except maybe a ninja. Yeah, a ninja. Mm -hmm. ah! That snake! He's the worst thing- Whoa! Mulbrook! Hey there! So, we finally meet. My name is Mulbrook. Like the elder and philosophers, I too misspelled. The one of the seventh children. Except, like, I'm, like, much more young and hip, so I bounced from those ruins and have been traveling the world lately. Thanks to your dad solving the muster mystery of the Lama Lana ruins, and busting the hell out of those ruins, I was able to break free from the mother's bonds and live my life however I want to. I'm super smart, so I've been working as an investigator on lots of different ruins around the outside world. Then the Elder called me back here and told me to help you out with you being kinda green. So, what's your name? Lumisa? Awesome! Nice to meet you, Lumisa. I'm going to take advantage of my impressive agility and check out the deeper areas of the ruins. I got your address from the Elder, so I'll contact you if I find anything. If you don't hear from me, I'm probably just taking a nap somewhere. Anyways, later! <laughs> Deal with it. She's back. <laughs> she just kind of fell asleep, okay. The titan race of the second children was wiped out. Their only remaining traces are their lands in the branches. Set sail, and you will be guided to the Shrine of the Frost Giants. We've already been there, but... Okay. Exmookane. Alright. Can't, uh, climb down. There's a thing in the way. Abandon your desires. Do not lay your gaze upon them. Power will be bestowed upon those who can turn their backs on their desires. 
Shooting me just once wasn't enough. Okay, so don't face the statue, is that it? Glove! Does that let us push stuff? It does! Alright! We are making some real progress, finally. And I am super hyped about it. Let's, uh... Let's head back over here and see what this pedestal does. It opens the way down. What is all this? New message. I got your account info from the Elder. I'll send you a message if anything comes up. It looks like you can't proceed to the right at Omnithum, huh? You probably have to, like, get in from a different area. Alright, I'm gonna find that entrance for you. I'll go check out the area past Omnithum for now. Okay. Why can't we proceed right? Also, what's down here? Anything? Well, I mean... There's a guy, but he's not letting me read what he has to say, so, uh, never mind. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Chalkmool! Bears a striking resemblance to Mindstein statues. This. Eglana simply uses it as a candle stand. What are you? The six-sided star of Eglana. Hmm. Not sure if I want to fall down or what. What's this? Whoa, okay, now I can get across here. Ooh! Or not. Okay, made it across. What's this have to say? Heimdall will watch over the end from his perch atop the Rainbow Bridge. He will demonstrate his power when, and only when, the end begins. The blast of Heimdall's horn will mark the beginning of Idrisil's end. Okay, so that's Heimdall, so we just saw. That's what you're telling me. What the heck is all of this? Myth. Are you sure that's not Ganesh? A master of yoga. <laughs> sure. But like, wait, what was that all about? Like, there's nothing down here. What is all this? No, oh, can't get back down. Okay. I probably don't want to slash this. Can I cling to it? No, there there is a birth scene though. So, what if I push this? What's it do for me? Aha! Let's me go through here. Ha! <laughs> I finally found a boat down here. Let me just get it down. Oh. What is the what is the deal here? The moment when you're done jumping for joy is when you get here. Haha, uh -huh, I did not get crushed. What does all this do for me? Oops, I just fell. 
Is this gonna be some kind of trap I have to escape? No, it is just uh, just a staircase. All right, well we know that that's there, I guess. So what if we go back up? Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's heal and then end the episode off because it's been like half an hour. Yeah.